What's good, people? This your boy YC for real, aka Marcel. Listen, people, I'm here to tell you something. I just want to let you know. Look, I, I know you know some people they disagree with me because they talk about the law, and I understand God's word. I understand what He said, but listen, Jesus said, "I could, when He meant, I don't come to do away with the law. I come to fulfill it. In other words, I come to make the pathway straight." so that you don't have to try to do it in your own ability anymore. In other words, I'm going, I'm going to keep the law so that all you have to do is come to me and receive me and save me more. In other words, no more trying, no more being on religion mode. You know, some people might not understand what I'm saying, but listen, Christianity is the only faith that has absolutely nothing to do with religion. I know it's, there's quite a few scriptures up in here, like for, uh, James chapter 1 and 26 to 27. But I kid you not, religion, if you can, it's in the Greek, the word religion comes from the Greek word religio. Religio means back to bondage. That's what it means. So if Christianity is quote unquote religion, just like everybody else does, then I guess once somebody gets born again, I guess we go back into bondage. But that's not true. We don't go back into bondage. Um, this is a brother I was talking with on another video post. He shared some good points with me talking about how Christianity in some cases is religion. I, I can tell him this. When you speak in earthly, you have every right to say that. Because Jesus, when, when, when the Satan tempted him on the mountain, and he showed him all, all the kingdoms of the world, there are seven different kinds of kingdoms. But one of the kingdoms was the religious kingdom. So, because we're in an earthly point, standpoint, you can use that. I don't have a problem with it. But for me, I just don't use the word because I, to be honest, personally, I can't stand the word. And I'm just like a lot of other people. I talk to so many people, and they tell me that they don't want to do religion because they, they see, they see so much going on. They see so much wrong with the church, and, and all of that. But I tell people, don't judge Christianity based on Christians. Judge it based on what God's word says. Judge it based on the Bible. You read the Bible for yourself. You know what I'm saying? And see, is Jesus really a religion just like the rest of these clowns out here? Or is Jesus some big? You feel me? That's 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 the decipher. That's that's what I'll come to decipher because I I, I personally I, I I'm like God, I can't stand religion. I absolutely hate religion. I just hate it because it just brings you into bondage. I understand that. I was in bondage and I went to church every Sunday. You know? Bondage. You see what I'm saying? Religion brings you into bondage. Jesus brings you into freedom. So why would Jesus put you back into bondage? I'm going to go over here and read the passage. I believe it's in Romans. Oh, give me a uh, second. It's Romans chapter 8. And this is what it said. It says, this is Romans chapter 8 verse 15, it says, For you have not received the spirit of bondage again in fear, but you have received the spirit of adoption, brother, we cry, Abba Father. Abba Father, you have not received the spirit of fear, the, the bondage. Bondage, here I'm just going to talk about the word bondage. Keep somebody trapped, entangled, can't go nowhere. That's religion for you. Religion keeps you contained. Religion keeps you... Not going in real religion holds you back. Jesus opens you up. Jesus gives you a new life. He gives you restoration. He cleanses you from inside and out. I'm telling you, you can live the abundant life once you receive Christ. Religion, you can't. In religion, you're broken. In religion, you're bound. And I understand my man was on point. He told the absolute truth. You, you know, like I said, bro, I know you're watching this video, man. I shout out to you, man. God bless you. I pray nothing but blessing on you, man. I don't know your name. Uh, I think your name is Mr. VIP 1993. Shout out to you, brother. Like I said, I wish you nothing but best. Nothing, you know, I pray over you and your family, man. I pray, you know, it's nothing but success, bro. You know, like I said, there's no hate. Like I said, because we on the same team. You my brother in Christ. You know, like I said, we. the one thing we came into agreement with is that without Christ, you can't win. Without Christ, there's no, you know, <laughs> there's no freedom. Jesus came to die for sin. He went to hell. He seated at the right hand of the Father today. 
Now, he, Jesus didn't come so that you can claim a religion. He came so that you can claim, you can be back into a whole fellowship with the one who created you. That's what it's all about. That's all I'm here to say. That's the disciple. Religion is slavery. Jesus is freedom. That's that's what I come to decipher, you know. And like I say, you can, you know, some people might not agree with me, you know. But I'm here to tell you, this is it. The Lord doesn't care about it. He don't care about it. So why should we care about it? You know what I'm saying? You know, yes, Jesus cares about you. That's the thing. The Lord cares about you. doesn't care about you claiming the religion. He cares about you. That's what I'm going to tell you. So once you get born again and receive Christ as the Lord and person Savior, you have entered. You left the religion train, which is centered. Did you ever heard this? You know, a lot of people say, I'm not religious. But that's a bold-faced lie because you're born religious. Why? Look at everything you do. You watch TV every day. You get up. You go to work every day. You do all these things religiously. You don't even know. You watch. I'm going to talk about a lot of y'all out there probably watch First Take religiously keyword and it doesn't benefit you that's what religion does however when you come over to Christ I know he said I didn't come to put away the law but I come to fulfill the law in other words I'm taking the place of that I'm going to do it I'm going to keep it because I'm the I, I'm, I'm G.O.D. himself but I'm in the flesh though and I'm going to keep it I'm going to do it so all you have to do is trust me. All you have to do is rely on me. All you have to do is cry out to me and say, Lord, forgive me of what I've done. Forgive me of the mess I've made. Forgive me for being extra, extremely religious and not understanding who you really are. Come into my heart. Receive me, Lord, as your son. I receive you as my Savior and Lord now. And I denounce sin and everything that's of the devil, including religion. I want to sign off and just leave it like that. I pray this video has touched you and blessed you. And I can say I'm not here to offend anyone or anything, but like I say, I, I personally believe Christianity has got absolutely nothing to do with religion. And I know that the real one of the major reasons why I'm going to talk about it, everybody talks so much about the Illuminati and all this stuff, and the Illuminati this and the Illuminati that and all that. Look, I know exactly, I know all, pretty much everything I need to know about the Illuminati, but I just want to take this. The Illuminati is a small picture compared to who the real devil is you see satan he comes to do three things steal kill and destroy that is his game people are not look people look see we we looking at people the bible says you wrestle not against flesh and blood people are in your problem the illuminati is consists of four goons principalities powers rulers of darkness of this world and spiritual wickedness of high places that is all they uh, consist of four demonic creatures principalities powers rulers of darkness of the world and spiritual wickedness in high places that's why when, when we everybody talk about all these celebrities that's getting involved in this stuff you know what man let me tell you something let me ask you this these people they might have made a deal with satan but i can tell you this if 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 they cry out to christ and ask them uh, ask the lord to save them he will you see I'm telling you, I know everybody talk, you know, and I, trust me, I agree with, with I've seen a host of people's videos on, on, on Illuminati and everything, and I'm not, like, I, yeah, I'm not here to, to, to deny, I know they're doing what they do, you know, like I said, they run the TV shows, they run all these things, you know, and that's the point, they want to control religion so they can control everything, but the problem is, they don't control Jesus, they might control religion, but they don't control Jesus. That's the difference. That's 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 all I'm that's all I'm trying to get across. You know what I'm saying? You know, I some people might not agree with me, but I, that's that's what I want to get across. That's it, you know. And I I can say I understand the scriptures. I understand it. I get it. I know what you mean. But I'm telling you, the Lord, that's not what He talked about. He ain't talk about being, you know. He God ain't interested in you being religious. He interested in and being your father. He wants to get back into you. Adam had no religion. He just had the father. He had a father. His he walked in the cool of day. Adam and them was there was no such thing as religion going on in Adam's day. It was just him, Eve, and the Lord walking in the cool of the day, talking with him, chilling. But once the devil showed up, I'm telling you, I, I'm trying to tell you, man. Look at the word religion and look at the word relationship. Religion, R-E-L-I-G-I-O-N, relationship, R-E-L-A-S. 
uh, relation A T I O N S H I P relationship. The enemy's game plan is to keep everybody caught up. But listen, that's all I gotta say, man. Cause I can go on and on and on and on. I just want to thank I thank God for this. I you know I pray that this will bless people. I pray that this will open people's hearts, open their eyes to realize that Christ has had Christ didn't come for religion. He came to rescue us from ourselves. He came to free us from ourselves. The religion is man-made. G O D, the Lord Almighty. Hakasha. Uh, see, I get out going to pray in the Holy Ghost. I'm telling you, this 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 man. <laughs> I'll let you boy. Man.